Hi Mamas, welcome to Beyond Birthing channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my five favorite visual cues to engage your pelvic floor muscles so you can get started with your practice. My name is Sophie Villeneuve and I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist who's all about helping moms to prepare and recover from birth while nailing your pelvic health. Before we get going, make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the bell button below so you can be notified every time I release a new video. In my practice, I've seen many moms struggling with engaging their pelvic floor muscles, whether it is during or after pregnancy. So if it's your case, know that you're not alone. It's not something that comes super intuitively for most of us. Because your pelvic floor is located internally in your pelvis and we cannot see or touch these muscles really easily, it can be hard to know how to contract and release them. And if you add on top of that pregnancy in delivery, it can definitely add an extra layer of challenge for you to connect with those muscles. If you haven't watched my pelvic floor one-on-one -on -one video, I would recommend that you watch it first so you better understand where those muscles are and what they do before you move forward with this video today. But for now, let's get started with my five favorite visual cues to help you connect with your pelvic floor muscles. So the first cue that I always try in clinic when I first assess my client's pelvic floor is the berry picking cue. So picture that you want to pick up a berry with your vagina and lift it up inside your pelvis. It should feel like a tightening and a lift around your vagina. Now release and let the berry go and bring it back down into your seat. You should feel the pelvic floor lowering back down. The second cue for you to try is to picture your vagina as a jellyfish. So when you contract, you want to imagine your jellyfish coming up with the tentacles squeezing together. And when you release, the jellyfish goes back down, opening the tentacles. The third cue is the sponge. So imagine that you have a sponge filled with water in your vagina. Now squeeze the water out of the sponge and try to lift it up at the same time. To release, let the sponge drop down in your pelvis and let it fill up with water and expand. So our fourth cue is to pretend to stop the flow of urine. So go ahead and imagine that you want to stop your pee and bring the urine back up in your bladder. And now to release, pretend that you want to start peeing again and release all the tensions around your urethra and bladder. Now I want to say that I do not recommend trying this for real while you're on the toilet because there's a risk of developing a urinary tract infection or UTI uh, if you do not release properly after your contraction and there's some urine that stays in your urethra. Uh, some people may also develop urinary retention from doing this, which means that they cannot fully empty their bladder properly. So moral of the story, use it as a mental cue if it helps you in your pelvic floor exercise practice, but do not actually try and stop your pee when you're on the toilet. The last cue you can try is picturing bringing your sit bones together. So you can actually feel your sits bones by putting your hands underneath your bum and wiggling a bit from side to side and you'll feel those big bones over top of your hands. Now, to contract your pelvic floor, imagine that you wanna squeeze those bones together and lift them inside using the muscles in between. You can also picture squeezing your tailbone and your pubic bone together. On the release, imagine letting the sits bones go back to where they were and the tailbone and pubic bone going apart from each other. Another thing you can do to connect differently with your pelvic floor is to replace the idea of squeezing and lifting the vagina by squeezing and lifting the anus and rectum. Some people will connect better with the back part of their pelvic floor versus the front part. If there's other images that you like to use to connect with your pelvic floor that I haven't mentioned today, 
Let us know by dropping a comment below. I always like to know what works for people uh, and it's always helpful in my practice to have a wide variety of cues so my clients can connect with their pelvic floor. If you're interested in learning more about my pelvic health programs to help mamas to prepare and recover from birth, check out the links towards my books and programs in the description below. As always, thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you later in another one of my videos.